Inside this box are first edition vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs, and we're gonna be checking them out in today's video. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have viewer mail, including some stuff that I bought like those first edition vintage packs. Let's get into it, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards. These were sent by a viewer. We have a Korean Gaia and a original print Invader of Darkness Secret Rare. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite item in the uh, mail. I think that you're gonna like the last one the best, but I don't know what's in these, so maybe you'll like this one more, who knows? Let's start off with this package, which I have opened because I didn't know what it was, so I wanted to check and make sure, and it is a card that someone sent me. A Mistworm DT. This is actually for my Edison deck, and he sent it to me because he knew I didn't have one. He had a bunch of them. So this is really cool. This is the original one, not the one from the Hidden Arsenal set. So it's pretty awesome to add this to my Edison deck, and I really appreciate him sending it in. So thanks again for doing that, man. I now will not have to use a Chicolates with Mistworm written on it. <laughs> and that was from Nick, so shout out to Nick. Next, we have an envelope from an unnamed person. So we will see when we get in there what it could be. I'm pretty excited to figure out what it is. All right, let's go. It is an envelope with... Okay, nothing yet. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. A Korean Ultimate Rare. Uh, what is this guy called? Is she... It's not... She... Is it Shein? No, it's not Shein. It's... I forgot his name. There's the... The Synchro's name is Shein. Or is this guy also Shein? I can't remember what this guy's name is. Something about Shogun, I feel like, is the name. Oh, whoa. Okay, all right. So these look like Korean, yeah, which is still pretty cool. Ultimate rares in in like the Korean sets are actually like really nice texture. That's pretty cool. Especially the you can really see the uh, stars shine. All right, so we have the Shogun guy. I don't remember his name. And then the creator from RDS, the Korean Rise of Destiny. That's pretty amazing. Uh, very nice. Uh, unnamed person. So whoever sent these in, thank you very much. I appreciate that. We have another envelope. This was from Joseph Shabbat. I don't know if that's how you say that. Please enjoy these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I enjoy the videos, and if you do, keep up the good work. Very nice. Let's check it out. We have Relinquished. We have Book of Moon. These are some old school cards. Dragons, Rage, Ominous, Fortune, Telling, Dian Keto. Oh, Megamorph. That's very cool. We've got a Luminous Soldier. We just created a PSA 10 of that. That's pretty cool. Unlimited Metal Raiders. This is original print. Change of Heart, Shift, Amazonus Archers. Man, these must be like a childhood collection kind of thing. Karibo, Dark Magician. Very cool. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Those corners are definitely a nostalgic condition, as we would say. This, <laughs> the Celtic Guardian almost said Celtic. We're getting ready for uh, the basketball playoffs, I guess. And a couple of OCG cards. XYZ Dragon Cannon. That is from BPT The 10. So, very cool stuff. Thanks again, dude. So far, we have a ton of epic single cards being sent in by you guys. So, I appreciate you guys doing that. By the way, if you do want to send me something, it can be anything pretty much you can send it to my p.o box down below in the description appreciate it if you guys do that it makes for a funny video or a fun video or sometimes even crazy videos people send in some nutty stuff so let's see what we got in this one this is dear rux at 34 contained within are cards that i think you will like i found your channel this year and i was hooked from the start glad to hear that i watched your battles of chaos live streams and they were quite interesting definitely interesting that's for sure scarlet fox Yu-Gi-Oh. here we go let's see what he sent us we have a dad. Very nice. Oh, is that Korean as well? We have a Korean dragon. Uh, what is he called? The ultimate. The Oh, no. Dragon Master Knight. I almost forgot. Relinquished. So we almost have all of the original starters from these from uh, these packages, I should say. Dark Arm Dragon, Silver Calcos, and Dark Hole. So, yeah, it looks like these were well used for sure. So they've seen some play in their day. Next up, another envelope. And this one's from Sean. Let's see what Sean sent us. Sean, what did you send to us in this larger envelope than the other ones? A little bit longer, I should say. Hey, Ruxin34, been watching you for a year. Love watching your videos. The excitement of opening packs bring back so much nostalgia from back in the day. I found these in my drawer, and I decided to give them to you. Not a whole lot better than nothing, but better than nothing. Okay, I can see. Thanks again for giving me the joy during the difficult times. Also, I'm going through the difficult times. Also, I'm going through difficult times, and these cards give me hope during the difficult time. Thanks again, and whenever you're going through difficult times, remember, hope. Hold on, pa pain and joy. Hold on, pain ends. From Sean, YouTube channel, uh, Inish. I don't know what that says. YouTube channel, I'm not sure what he said there. Into it is what it looks like, magician. P.S. I'm I, I'm not, not going to lie. I don't know what that says. So if you guys can read that, then there you go. You guys get the special message. I can't read it, to be honest. So let's see what he sent us. A ray of hope. And a blue eyes white dragon. So they're the ray of hope. If you go and throw those, ray, those uh, 
not regular times, dark times. Yeah, then there you got the ray. And then the blue eyes, white dragon. So thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing okay. And everyone out there who's having a tough time, I hope that the videos help out. And I'm glad to keep posting them and helping you guys out if I can. All right, we have one more envelope until we get into those booster packs. So let's see what will be inside. This one was sent in a collection that I bought from a guy. And he said, if you open them on video, open this, which I did not. So, oh man. Okay. I didn't open them, but I'm glad I opened this on video. Hey, Rux, and greetings from New Zealand. I'm a big fan. Thank you for purchasing my collection off me. It was from my mates, and then he went to Australia a couple years ago, so I purchased it off him. Hope following your passion as a YouTuber is going well. Here's a couple... couple I can't read today. Here's a couple packs you should open now. You don't have to, but you... I, I literally can't read. But if you do, have good luck with your pulls. Wishing you all the best, George. So George sent these in. He sold me a collection a while back. I didn't end up opening it on camera because it was just some boxes, so there wasn't a ton to open. I didn't know these were in here. Maybe I would have done that. Let's see what we have. We have Astral Pack, uh, Star Pack. We have Mon Battle Pack Monster League. We got Zexel. We've got... Ooh, Abyss Rising. Very cool. We got more of those. And then we got another Astral Pack 3. Wait, this looks... Is this open? No, it's not open. Okay. All right, so we've got ourselves a mini opening today, which is pretty cool. Let's get into this. Let's see what we can pull from George. Hopefully, we can pull something good. I tried the tab. It didn't seem to be there. These are some Zexel packs from... Are these Korean, I think? Yeah, these, I think, are Korean. Yeah. I was right. Nailed it. Okay, let's see what else we can get. We've got... Okay, a rare. I don't know any of these cards. This is a problem because Zexel, I don't know the card names too well. Like, I know some of them, but I don't know a lot of them, especially the commons. So, knowing these off the top of my head is going to be pretty tough. Let's see if we can open this because these are not easy to open. We have the... It looks like a Minotaur of some kind. All right. We've got another rare. Okay, I remember this guy. He's like... He has an ulti, I think. Like... Generation Force or something like that. Man, where's the pull tab? There's normally a pull tab, but I can't find it. Okay, we're gonna go. F we gotta go like this from the bottom because if you go from the top, it's impossible because of the long tab. Ah! My goodness, opening these is an absolute nightmare. I can't get them open. Okay, another rare. And it's like the same pack as last time. Interesting. Can we open this a little bit more successfully this time? Let's see. Come on. We have, come on, do we get something? A super rare. Let's go. I don't know what that is, but it's a super rare. We will take it. I'm hoping that it's an insane card, but I really don't know. Let's go into the last one of these. When we can get to some cards that I can actually read and open a little bit more easily. Just got to manhandle these things. Oh, enough. That's the same super rare. What in the world? <laughs> All right, on to something that I can read. Abyss Rising First Edition. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull an amazing Ghost Red. This is a first edition pack, so we could technically do it. It is possible. I am down. Let's go. We have a... Oh, wait. Let's do this. We've got a Stoic of Prophecy back there. we got a Deep Sweeper. we got a Planet Pathfinder. Solar Wind Jammer. Stoic of Prophecy. The Unification. The Nimble Angler. Snow Dragon. Mind Pollutant. And an Abyss Scale of the Kraken. Okay, not too great. We got a Battle Pack Monster League, one of the worst sets of all time. I used to open these all the time when I would go to the Walmart and get the mystery boxes that had these inside. So let's see what we can pull. We got a Dark Crusader, Mind Over Matter, Quakimiro Doom, and the Rageki Bottle. That actually looks really nice in this lighting. Like, really nice. Okay, and then a Magical Arm Shield. So that's a pretty cool card. We'll take that. Star Pack 2014. Another uh, not so great one, but we'll see. I don't even, I don't, I don't think I've opened a lot of this, so I don't know what's in here actually. We've got a Starlight, Starbright, Goldfax, and a, a Daybreaker, not a Starbreaker. That's different. Now we have two Astral Pack 3. These are big deal. These are <laughs> these are big deal. These are big clutch. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. I don't know if it's going to be at the front or not, so to be safe, we will do this. I don't think it was at the front based on what it felt like. Imprisoned Queen Archfiend, it wasn't. Noble Arms, Gallatin, Super Rare, and then a Swarm of Scarabs. This is a pretty nice card, I think. Maybe a couple bucks, so we'll take that one. Now we have pack number two, Astral Pack 3. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Whew. Swarm of Locusts. Uh-oh, we revealed it. It is a magic card, Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. And a Spellbook Library of the Crescent. The Croissant. Okay, that's a different thing, not a croissant. And finally, we get to the box with the vintage packs. I'm going to open this over here because it's a little large. We now have this. What is inside? Wait, does it reveal it? Not quite. Not quite. It kind of does. A little bit. Let's see if I can go like this. Inside, we have three Subway sandwiches. Just kidding. Not sponsored. <laughs> All right. If you can't tell yet, you might have the color. It's a dead giveaway for this specific one. Let's see. We have Magic Ruler First Edition Packs. I'm going to take a quick second and get all these out, and then we can talk about it. Ah! 
Before you, I have 30 first edition Magic Ruler packs. Yes, I bought 30 loose first edition Magic Ruler packs. There's no real way to know if they're unscaled or not. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening these in a video this weekend. But before that, we can't go in this video without opening at least a pack. So let's see if we can pull something. If we can pull a foil, then we'll know, like, you know, they're probably unscaled. So let's start off with a first edition MRL pack. Let's open it up. These feel incredible. They feel like old school. Look at that. Centering's terrible on that Horn of Light. Okay. Sonic Bird. I mean, beautiful card. Taiho number two. We've got an Electric Snake. and Where's the Electric Lizard? That's what we're looking for. Magical Labyrinth. The Dark Zebra. Or should I say Zebra? Sorry, I'm Rising Air Current. Red Archery Girl. And... A Nimble Mamonga. It kind of looked like it was a secret rare for a second. I was like, what is going on here? All right, Nimble Mamonga. Very nice, but you got to open at least one more, right? All right, all right. We'll open another one. We'll open another one. First edition Magic Ruler because we got to open more. We're probably going to end up opening all of these this weekend. Um, I don't know what day yet, but keep an eye out for that if you guys want to see this first edition MRL opening. It's been a long time since we've opened this many MRL packs, so I'm pretty excited about it. We got a Guardian of the Throne Room, Labyrinth Wall. The Liquid Beast, House of Adhesive Tape, Magical Labyrinth, The Dark Zebra, back at it again, Luminous Spark, Can We Pull a Foil, Red Archery Girl, and an Amoeba, just another rare, okay, we gotta see a foil, we gotta make sure, you know, if they're all light, you know, I wanna know that, so, let's see what the next one is, we gotta pull one foil, and then we can end it, so far we're over two. Hopefully, we will not go over 30. That would be a real bummer. We have an Electric Snake. The Minar. The Jiggin Bakadun. Flash Assailant. Griggle. The Final Destiny. Yeah, if this is the one you, like, discard five cards. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Like, a, a minus six, I guess. Penguin Knight. We gotta eat Gaboon. That is very creepy. He's eating the... Is that a Gaboon? So, he's eating Gaboon, or is that what's going on here? And... Ooh, Karate Man. So we are back on the rares. 0 for 3. Can we pull anything? Come on, loose packs. You guys know how it goes. Can be rough. Okay, back to the next one. Let's see if we can pull something. So far, we have not. Well, we've pulled some. I mean, we pulled Eekaboom. That's a pretty big one, so we can't complain. We've got a Metal Fish. There he is, a Metal Fish with a Razor Sharp. Wait, Coddlefin. There we go. All right, we got it right. Uh, I can't read. Uh, I'm trying to read through my phone, and then it goes over there. It's very difficult. Yeah. Horn of Light, Sonic Bird. I'm just struggling today. That's basically my excuse. Taiho number two. Let's pull a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon right now to make up for it. Boar Soldier. Very nice. Hamburger Recipe. Psychic Kappa. Fairy's Hand Mirror. And... Oh, we have a super rare Invader of the Throne. How's the centering on this thing? Pretty good. Maybe a little bit thicker on the top, but definitely decent centering. Very nice on the surface. Okay, we might have some potentially gradable cards in these packs, but we're going to find that out this weekend, so keep an eye out this weekend for a first edition Magic Ruler opening 26 packs at this point, because we just opened four of them. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be 26. We'll see if I, you know, back out a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. We're going all in. All right, I'll see y'all there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for more. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tofo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter Emusa, Junior Barning, Anunatai Show, and JT Cho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.